I'm going to discuss a little bit about using the uh, user interface on our tank manager. This would be what a trucker would do if he's pulling up and commencing his load. So step one would be go into truck hauling. In this case, we're going to go out to the oil tanks. First thing he's got to do is enter his company code. These are uh, obviously security codes, pass codes that have been given to a client. In this case, for, we're going to use a very simple one. Just one, two, three, four. Uh, he's got a valid company. He's going to enter in his driver code now, which in this case will be 66. Uh, he could go on further to enter in ticket numbers and truck numbers if you have that level of security. In this case, we are, we're happy with having the company code and the driver code. So let's go in and select the tank that we're going to be working with. Uh, we're just going to keep with our first one up here with his oil tank number one. Check it off. And now we're beginning to get to where we can start commencing the load. We've passed security, we've selected our tank. Let's go on our next step. We've got a seal off number to enter. Uh, the drivers will know those to read those numbers. Uh, they, if you notice, you've got a value here of a preset value. This is what you can enter if you're going to take some already known quantity uh, that he's looking to do. In this case, we happen to have it set at four because for our demo purposes, literally this could be changed as needed. But I'm going to set it back to four just uh, to keep the timing a little bit more along with what we can use. Uh, next, you can uh, see the opening level that's determined by the electronics. The trucker can now gauge the tank, enter in his own level if he chose if he so chooses to change it the value that's recorded by electronics is still maintained so the producer will be able to see both what the electrical measurement read as well as what the driver did on his tank gauging out element or action in this case we'll just keep the automated default at this point, he began to enter in various fluid characteristics, uh, gravity, any sort of densitometer readings, temperatures down the tanks. Again, these can be all numbers that are being produced by automation when available. Uh, you'll see a S and W percent of 10. Obviously, that's uh, terribly high, but again, for demo purposes, we're leaving it in there because you can actually see some of the difference in the calculations. Normally, that may be a number more, let's say, one or something even less, but I will put it back to the 10 value for our purposes. So we're ready to start a load. If you see now, you can actually tell we're beginning to accumulate some values. We see some, uh, we have our levels at when we were when we we're opening. Uh, you can see the level changes that are going on, the gross barrels that are being calculated. And uh, we should be about terminating now. Because if you noticed, we've already exceeded the four preset that we had. The demo actually allows it to range up on 5.6 in this particular case. But even in reality, you would tend to get a value slightly higher in your preset because there is some time involved in shutting the system down, so to speak. The unit will always record the amount of actual oil moved. And we can see the various calculations that are already done. You can see where we had gross standard barrels available. We took the S&W percent of that and actually came up with net standard barrels, all of which can be bought up through a SCADA system. And now we can go ahead, and he could edit this if he feels necessary. We're going to go ahead and just close out this load. We're happy with it. We can put on a new seal on number. Um, you can see all the opening, closing levels, the amount that's been accepted. All of this now can be transported up in a SCADA system. Driver's got his information, and this haul is completed. And then we have the various summaries involved. 